Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is February 27, 2017. And this is just a quick drawing to show and put things in perspective of where things are at on with the lens array, the earth, the sun, and everything. So quick bird's eye view. This is by no means a picture drawn to scale at all. So just to show you the kind of where they are positionally. So for we have the the sun here. I don't have can't really show you a cursor on this type of program, but the sun here in yellow, the eclipsing planet other than the moon, the sun, source of the the light source here. That would, and this is this entire thing is the sun simulator. This is a continual piece that moves separately from the lens array, but the light would come from this light source bounce through this actual thing is round we're looking at this thing sideways this this thing is hexagonal and these are round sources of light and i don't know the entire piece again this is a conceptual drawing showing the path of light and the light would bounce from this curved lens through this device here bounce through the reflect through the hole and of the round mirror that we're only seeing it sideways through the Fresnel lens and then through the lens array, not always. I believe it's only on the horizon, but when it sets on the horizon, the, it seems to be following the horizon. This seems to be follow, actually following in a heliocentric or synchronous orbit with the sun, always above it, always on, always, and able to dim it up and down with a white light, with the real yellow light of the sun behind it. And it's the path of light bounces from this Fresnel lens and coming through here. And now this black dot would be seen. This would be the Fresnel lens, which is also seen as the black dot. And next, let me show you the pieces of this puzzle, as I believe to be the, putting the pieces of this puzzle together. So, again, this is the light source. This is how we see it. This is straight from the patent office. We can see the light, how it, again, I just copied this hexagonal sun. We can see that these yellow lights bounce out to the earth. Then we see, I believe to be the next piece of the puzzle is this one I'd recently found. This piece that we see here, I believe to be this piece here as this light is channeled through here. Please go back and watch my other video. And then it goes through these two mirrors one bounces like this way and one reflects it outwards towards the earth. Next, the Fresnel lens. And in the let's see if we can look up these Fresnel lenses. So it is a spinning Fresnel lens, and I believe the mirror that bounces the light is inside the Fresnel lens and this thing spins at a relatively slow speed. There's plenty of pictures, don't know precisely what it looks at, looks like, but it definitely, according to a lot of photographs we're seeing on Earth, would reflect this round like, more like this one here. As we've seen on other channels, this spinning Fresnel lens. And then, check this out, if I could Okay, so NASA's been doing some other fun stuff. Check this out. Origami lenses. I'll leave a link in the description. Super flat lenses, a giant leap for space telescopes. So I definitely don't think here how they actually were able to fold up lenses in very tight ship, in a very tight small space, put them on a ship and send them out into space. So currently in progress here you can see them folding this origami lens together and then using these lenses I'm not sure if these exact ones just showing what they're capable of these ultra light lenses that are 25 meters pretty big look how big this one is you this guy what is that like 15 feet that's looks pretty big standing next to these people standing next to it Then in the uh, next two 
the spinning Fresnel lens, excuse me, the light source, which I believe this to be the light source, and whatever with the projection of the lens we can see here. The projection of the light source, the hexagonal sun, going through the lens source and seeing this image over an FAA camera. And over in a time-lapse video in Australia, we see it here. We can see it in this time loop video. Over in Australia, we can see the rotating, projecting the lens, per, putting an image because of the lens array ahead of what we see appearing to be like a hologram. So I've got more details on this. I just have to show this again. We see the spinning Fresnel lens with a cooling apparatus behind it because it must, it's obviously running really hot. Why the Fresnel lens? Some people ask me that. Well, that's because you have a black dot. We don't want to see it with the naked eye. So it basically spins like a dancing disco ball. Light, bouncing light all over the place. Trying to fill in the black spot to the naked eye. But with instruments such as an FLR camera, we are looking at it. Not a sunspot. Don't disappear. And I've, go get an FLR camera. You can see this anytime, especially when the sun's up just a little bit in the sky. Now, let's watch what I want to show you the most. Check this out. A sun halo is a the sun halo. Strange phenomenon. It's a solar eclipse. People, please wake up. This is a solar eclipse. And look how dark it's getting. It's blocking out the light. So here in this video, You've got a fake sun, the planet behind it, well, on the order. <laughs> you've got the lens array, you've got the fake sun, then you've got the blocking planet, and behind that, you've got the sun. I don't know how I can make it any more simpler than that. It's blocking the light. There's no clouds. Fake sun. That's what you're looking at with another atmosphere reflected behind it. Chris Potter is a really good one. you got to watch the physicist his thoughts on explaining why we see the two halos it's because it's the light bouncing from a double atmosphere i don't have time to get into it in a short video i think i've spent enough time as it already and please chris potter please put your thoughts in on this the physicist's thoughts you are welcome i would like your input on this and so there you go a solar eclipse before your very eyes Stop calling it a phenomenon. It's a solar eclipse. These planets are getting darker. Look how much light. They're getting it bigger and darker. And here is a quick demonstration on how a lens array or lenses can easily hide an object. So here's just a red ball in front of a map. And I'm going to bring out a lens and show you as I bring out this lens how it can hide this. So you bring it in and out or out of focus, pull it away from the focal point of your eyes, and voila, it disappears. That's how they hide them. Now, it's not a conventional lens like I showed you before, but a simple demonstration, a little optical trickery. Anyways, see you guys at the Lord's Supper. Have a blessed day. Please copy, like, and share this video.